If you keep your eyes peeled and your mind engaged, you'll find there's always a new story nearby just waiting to be discovered. Hi there! I'm Charlotte, a journalist with the Steambird. It's a pleasure to meet you. If you've got time, would you be open to doing an exclusive interview? My journalistic instincts tell me that there's a treasure trove of news in you just bursting to get out. There are lots of journalists in the Court of Fontaine, but not all of them hold themselves to a high professional standard. If you're ever looking to do an interview, I'm your best choice. The Steambird is an excellent publication. They have many outstanding journalists, and the editor-in-chief is always open to new ideas. But most importantly, they pay their writers on time. Uh-oh. I better find a way to keep my camera dry. Drat. Missed it again. I never quite managed to get a shot of the lightning strike. Brr. My fingers are frozen stiff. I can barely manage to press the shutter button. Perfect lighting for a photo. Come on, strike a pose. Don't forget to smile. Morning. Did you read the paper yet? No? No worries. I'll read it for you. Lunchtime. Come with me. I know a great place. Time for an evening chat. Any stories you're willing to share? Oh, I'd love to hear them. Oh, don't worry. I won't print any of them without your permission. You have my word. Oh, good night. You go get some rest. I gotta head to the Steambird offices to do some final proofreading of some articles. See you tomorrow. People aren't always very fond of journalists. You know what they say. Lies are soft and malleable, but the truth is sharp and inflexible. All right, the time has come for your interview. Ready to be a star? Just follow my lead and try to look good for the camera. You too, Paimon. You have the power of flight. Could you try to make it look a little more exciting? Your credible source of the unbelievable truth. That's my journalistic motto. Hmm? <laughs> yep, exactly. Credible and incredible at the same time. Huh? What's that? Oh, if I had to choose, then obviously being credible is much more important. But most readers would sooner pay money for sensational stories than mundane facts. So we have to focus on the most incredible true stories to keep our readers engaged. Allow me to introduce the one and only Monsieur Verité. He's not just any camera. He's my trusty companion and assistant. See his little hat and bow tie? Oh, I had those custom made by Chiori. Pretty neat, huh? I've got loads of other outfits for him, too, all in different styles. He comes dressed to impress for every interview, whatever the occasion. I'm well aware that following the truth wherever it leads is risky business. But varied truths make exclusive news. So good luck trying to keep secrets from me when we need a good story. Uh, uh, telling journalists in this world with a strong sense of journalistic integrity. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I make it my goal to provide the public with only the best exclusive news through powerful, engaging, and honest reporting. I love collecting different camera lenses. They all have different strengths. Some might have an incredible range of focal lengths. Others might have a really wide field of view. Oh, and there's also more novelty ones that can apply special effects to the image. Now take this one, for example. When you take a portrait photo with this, it turns their face all chubby. Come on, I'll take one of you. And you, Paimon. I've ended up with a less than favorable reputation in some people's eyes. I think it's because I can sometimes be a little bit, um, intense in interviews. Now, whenever I show up to interview someone, they're always really wary of me. Ah, but in my defense, with some people, you really have to put the pressure on or they won't open up. <laughs> Sweet things are my weakness. However big the main meal, I can always manage a dessert or several. Or as my mother puts it, there's always a special place reserved in my stomach for dessert. Oh, spicy food doesn't agree with me at all. It's like my stomach is fitted with a super sensitive spice detector or something, because even the mildest hint of chili will set it off. One small bite and the stomach ache begins. Oh, and it always lasts for like an entire day. Oh. Mm -mm, you're a good chef. Oh, any interest in starting a culinary column in our paper? I know just how we could slot you in. Hey, not bad. Would you mind teaching me how to make this sometime? Whew, wee. Ugh, this is uh, a juicy news story with a gut-wrenching conclusion. Happy birthday! Did you read today's Steambird yet? I put a birthday greeting in there for you. <laughs> Wait, you still haven't bought a copy? No problem. I picked one up before leaving the office. Look, here it is. I fought pretty hard to get it on this page. 
Oh, what a strange and wonderful feeling! I've got to write this down for my records. So this stuff really does boost people's strength, huh? I thought it was all rumors, but now here I am, experiencing it for myself. Have you done this for other people in the past, too? Were the materials you used different? And if so, how? Also, I'm wondering... Oh, oh, sorry. Force of habit. Holy smokes! My mind can think faster. My body has more energy. There's not a news story out there that can escape me now. But first things first. Let's take a photo to commemorate this beautiful moment. Say cheese! Smile! Hold that pose! Truth bomb! Breaking news! Ooh, this looks all right. Hard-hitting exclusive! I wish I could interview whoever left this stuff here. I doubt anyone's still looking for these. I'm getting this all on camera! There's still news to report! My camera's still working. Careful! I'm not writing your obituary! Take these photos to the Steambird. At least I documented everything. Headline still needs a headline. How rude! Oh, my camera! Let's get this interview started. What's the news? Nearer to the action is closer to the truth. <laughs> 